So a spinal fusion is a surgery where uh, one or more vertebrae are connected together uh, to stabilize a segment of the spine. And it can be due to, uh, it may be necessary due to multiple different reasons. Uh, the most uh, intuitive would be if you break your back, you've broken a vertebra, and so to uh, stabilize it so that uh, you can literally get up and walk around, a fusion is necessary to to uh, connect the broken vertebra to the intact vertebra so that uh, the spine will be stable. And then there are other conditions where uh, uh, a fusion is necessary. Uh, people who have scoliosis where their spine is twisted and turned and you have to straighten it out and stabilize it. Uh, people who have uh, instability where their vertebra is slipping out of place and uh, causing pain or nerve damage. Uh, so those are the uh, common reasons that we do a spinal fusion. So usually the incision is a uh, vertical incision right down the middle of the back uh, over whatever vertebra we're operating on, usually the lower back. Occasionally for certain techniques I'll make a small incision on the side if I need to remove the disc and, and do a fusion from the side of the, of the spine. And occasionally it'll be in the front to sort of like the same sort of incision people have for a um, appendectomy or hysterectomy or something like that. So there are different options for uh, the graft, uh, the bone graft that's used for a, a spinal fusion. Traditionally uh, what's been used is a bone graft from the patient's own hip bone. Uh, that works very well but uh, obviously that does cause some sort of uh, pain and donor site morbidity. So I don't always use that. I often will use cadaver bone as a way of, uh, of uh, providing bone graft without creating another incision or pain for the patient. I also use uh, different techniques. There are different um, off-the-shelf products of uh, uh, bone growth hormone, uh, bone growth uh, products that help with fusions. And then lately what I've also started doing is aspirating bone marrow from the patient and interoperatively uh, spinning down the bone marrow to get the stem cells, which are the actual cells that, uh, that stimulate bone healing. And that uh, provides a good alternative to taking the patient's own bone uh, because you have their bone growth factors, but you don't have to make an incision and take away the bone.